humble cries of a grain of dust. Let the minds of the lings and the walls dwell on the path of sevenfold, that there may be peace between them. And forever my devotion I pledge. Ame Tofu. is just too deep. Listen, nothing is going to stop me from marrying you, no matter how much hatred there is between our family. Please, darling. It'll only mean more death to our people. a moment with you? My answer to you was final. No. Son of my enemy, you go. Daughter shall never bear the name of Wong. But father, it means my happiness. Won't you please go and talk to his father? Dine 問題啊,我的聖王我幾百年在這個世界是不見了你的女,因為我的 You see Tom, our families will never come to an understanding. 
I simply will, my dear. Your prayer to the enlightened one will be absent. Oh, if it could only happen, we'd be so happy. That's what I get for teaching you to tell time, you old slave driver. You know, you're worse than a city editor. Hey, Samboni! Hello, Harry. What's with your mind? How would you like to lay your hand on a jade necklace worth 50 grand? Oh, why don't you quit smoking the stuff? Yeah? <laughs> Read that. So you know that uh, Chinese merchant Ling, don't you? Mm, yeah. Have you still got the recording machine? Yes, I still got it. Say, that's the spot for it. Right. And I can fence that necklace if you can get it. This is not the place at all. Let's go over to my room. Help! 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 Morning, Bobby. Hello there. Chronicle. What's the matter? Did the Herald beat you to a story again? Yes, again. Maybe that's why I can't sell a Chronicle. All they seem to be good for is wrapping paper. You go out and try to sell them, will you? Help! 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 Chronicle News! Like our slave drivers on the warpath this morning. Ooh. Hey, Martin. 
Coming. Hurry up. It's Robert, sir. Butler speaking. You get that story before you come back, or go home and tell your wife you've lost your job. Will you have an aspirin, Mr. Butler? No. Mr. Martin, in your busy life, have you by any chance read our rival morning newspaper? Oh, yeah. And you know, I particularly enjoy that Chinese news yarn. Why didn't you get that story? Because you had me down in the aquarium showing a little girl how to write about a big fish. Did that take you 24 hours? No. But you see, then your instructions were that I should take your sweet little protege and show her how to get nightclub news. And then, I suppose, when you got home, you tripped over a milk bottle. <laughs> How'd you get there? Well, I'm through listening to your alibi. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got a new idea on that Chinese romance. Pardon, get that story. How the typewriter? Get off my desk. Get that dog down. What do you mean you're bringing him in here? Over there and lie down, Tarzan. Go ahead. Now listen to this. Today, for the first time in 200 years, a Wong will sip tea and break bread with a ling. And Tom Wong, the prospective bridegroom, will present the bride with a rare jade necklace. Said necklace, that's considering the age and the intrinsic tea. A lot of big words in that story. Yeah. The, the intrinsic, well, the thing is worth $50,000. Now, isn't that nice? And if I were to run it with a picture, I'd have a lovely little society note. You big sissy. He objects to that big. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Well, we cover Chinatown. But not yet. First, you're going to take Miss Pollock to the polo grounds and show her how to interview the celebrities. Now, wait a minute, Butler. Me playing teacher that Jane's going far enough. Where are those passes? Have you seen them? Where are they? I gave them to you. Don't you remember anything? You're getting more stupid all the time. I've always known you were stupid, but my, you're getting worse and worse. You can't find me anywhere. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Butler. They're in your pocket. Oh, oh, yeah. There are your passes. Now you can get to that Chinese pink tea later. Thanks, Santa Claus. Come on, boys. Take that to my dumb pupil, will you? Our telephones for messages, Mr. Martin. My, how observant. You know, observation is the first requisite of a good reporter. Thank you, teacher. Come on, Tarzan.
Hmm. Observation. The first requisite of a good citizen is to learn not to park your car by a hydrant. You know, I didn't even see that fire plug. Maybe it wasn't there. Come on, Bobby. and stop that. Thank you, Tarzan. Did you do as I told you? Yes. Then you got the interview. How could I miss with such a marvelous tutor? That's right. Well, that lets me out. Now you stay and get the final score because I'm going down to Chinatown. I'm going too. You have to stay and get the final score. I'm going to Chinatown. Well, if you do, you'll get fired. I don't care. I'll go to work for another paper. That's great. Look, will you go home and tell your mother I hate you? I never lie to my mother. Come on, Tarzan. You see, Mr. Ling, if you permit me to occupy the quarters upstairs, I can be on hand for the entire preparations. Mr. Samboni, you mean we can record the details leading up to and including the wedding? Every detail. Then we can send this lecture to our honorable relations in China. Eh? Most certainly. That's good. Then when can you be ready? Oh, I can be ready for the first entertainment. That is afternoon, isn't it? Well, how do you know? <laughs> the Chronicles, late edition. Oh, may I read it? Certainly. May I use your phone? Yes. Thank you. I'll have my equipment brought right over. That's excellent. Hello? Granite 1254. Granite. Hello? Yeah. Okay, right away. Sam Boney put it over. We are packing the recorder. Boy. Juan and his jewels will soon depart. <laughs> Tom, you going to have a family of your own? Yes, father. Li Chun Ju ne, hai yong wo de Wang Xin Sang ge su ne, ti sap ni ne, hai ni ka li ge nui ne, ni song bei. Father, you are very generous. Isn't it wonderful? Say, you two wait outside. 
When I leave this wagon, I'll pass it to you. No. We're staying right here. Say, I'm running this. Too many of us around here might spoil it. Maybe he's right, Ray. Of course I'm right. Maybe so. But we'll be waiting. All right. Have the car ready so we can make it fast get away. Don't you stall, Saponi. Come on, Harry. What's the new firehouse kid, Ile? First Chinese laundry in America. On our right, the old Chinese midnight week. Oh, stop kidding. <laughs> Hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Well, here we are, sister. My name is Ann Parker, and don't call me sister. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, sob sister refers to a uh, newspaper woman. Come on, boy. Who are they? I don't know. How are you, Mr. Martin? Fine, Miss Ling, and uh, congratulations. This is Miss Ann Parker. She's also one of our uh, reporters. How do you do, Miss Parker? How do you do? Oh, hello, Tarzan. Nathan, I hope I'll go to this means a nice doggy in Chinese. <laughs> I would like an uh, exclusive story on your engagement party. Do you think the public would really be interested in such an unimportant matter? <laughs> Why, of course. <laughs> Quiet, Tarzan. Uh, pardon. I did not mean to interrupt, but the recording machine is ready, Miss Lee. When you have time, will you come up and we'll try it out? Yes, I'll come right away. Thank you. Recording machine? Yes. Oh, Mr. Zamboni. These are my friends of the press, Mr. Martin and Miss Parker. Delighted. Uh, Mr. Oh, uh, Mr. Zamboni is going to record our wedding and the peace talks of our fathers. And then we're going to send the records to China. Say, that's a story. My, how you catch your eye. Well, we'll just interview them. If it's all right. It's quite all right. Yes, come with me. Are you coming? No, I'll stay down here and talk to Joy Ling's father. All right. How are you, Miss Martin? Ling, I'm glad to see you again. That's a smile. Thank you. Charming. Now you'll see we can hear it at once on the record. It's so simple, anyone could work it. And uh, how many deaths occur each year caused by the Wang Ling feud? It is hard to say. There's so many of us. Oh. Hello, Lee. Hello, Honorable Hello, Wang. How are you? You see, I have uh, two microphones. Well, what's this one for? <laughs> This is for big banquets and special celebrations. I see. Shall we go down now? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Waiting gag. Looks like the double cross. Yeah. Maybe. We'll soon find out. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to have a keen celebration. I'm sure you are. 
funny. Hey, what about that polo story? What about it? Well, didn't you phone it in? Oh, I forgot. What a fine reporter. Give it to me. Oh, Mr. Ling, may my associate use the phone? Certainly. It's all right, Mr. Martin. Thank you very much. Sorry, Mr. Lee. Thank you. I want you. Can I come with her? Think think they do. I don't know. Why they talk? What's it? I will have a chair to have you join with us. Oh, thank you. That's a third alarm on that fire, and no reporters. Martin was supposed to phone in every hour. I haven't heard from him in three. I'll break his neck. Butler speaking. Oh, it's you. Why, you... Uh, uh. All right, then give me a rewrite, man. Big baboon. And you hurry up, or the fire will be out. Okay. Come on, Bright Eyes, we're gonna cover a fire. I'm staying, I like it here. Okay, I'll see you at the office. Well, come on, good luck, folks. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't stay. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, how pretty! Uh, I hope this necklace will join our families too. Gentlemen, this is a marvelous opportunity for a speech. You may commence. Thank you, Panga. Come on, go open it. Go outside it. The law, nigga, nigga. Hold it up. Open it. Now you, please. I'm going to come back to the pan. Put it here. Come back to the tire. See, la. Oh, my tofu. Do I just say the whole choice, la? And now say it all for me in English. Ah, splendid idea. Gentlemen, you remain here and keep on talking all the time through the microphone. I shall go upstairs and see if the apparatus is working perfectly. You're very powerful. Thank you. The nine what I said in Chinese, huh? If you will. Uh, say, boy. Um. Help me with my apparatus, will you? Yeah. Come in. Very happy message to our Ling and Wong family. That's what I said. Thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, tell me what you said, too, please. I said uh, that uh, I'm also very pleased to be on this marvelous occasion. What I said just now, that my son... ...relatives and friends, I sat the day on 10th of May to have our son have that ceremony. All you are invited. 
That sounded like a scream. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ningma, Ningma. the law. I got you. The motor's missing. Must be the carburetor. Have it adjusted? Yeah, the other day. Please, go Ling, man. He did it. Ling, she's up. Let me out of here! Kill the motor. We've waited long enough. We're going in there. Sure. Oh, hello, boys. Give me the necklace. No, I didn't get it. Well, what was all the excitement about downstairs? Oh, a Chinese uh, stole the necklace. We don't believe you. I swear. Oh, I, I think you're a double cross. You had that necklace spotted. Come through. Come through. How about Flagia? A police. You are mistaken, my friend. Never mind that friend stuff. You know what the double cross means? Give me that necklace. I swear. I think you're a double crosser. Take that to win. I'll take it over. Go ahead. Hey, 
Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee Maria. You? No. Laifu must have done it. He's gone away. What do you find the good? They take up on it. They learn what I mean. Find it. Take out the wine. We better figure a way to get the necklace. That's all. You're going to figure a way to get the necklace. No funny business, so I'll fill you for all that. Well, I can give you what I haven't got. What's that? We better get out of here. Sit down. I think you're lying. We're not going to leave here until you talk. See about that noise, Harry. Stay where you are.
Bob, come quickly. Big scoop. What's that? Who's in there? Where are those jewels? I've told you I don't know. I wish I did. What's this, a gag? Where have you been?
Well, you're going right in. Yes, Bob. Cosmo will take care of him. You get them, Bonnie. What are you doing in there? Oh, I just fell off, that's all. That sounds funny to me. Come on along. Well, Ola, here's a present for you. What's the matter, Martin? I don't know, Ola, but it looks like we're going to have a lot of company around here. Say, Lynn, give me the keys out front door. What's, What's your name, name Miss? Ann Parker. That's all right, Ola. She's a reporter on the Chronicle. And Ann, don't you say another word while I find talking. Here's those keys. keys. Hey, now listen here. Father. The Most High One has answered our prayers. Do our honorable fathers agree? It is written that the Lings and the Wongs shall have peace. Who do you think you're talking to? Now listen to me, you red-nosed seahorse, and if you don't like it, I'll sell the story to another newspaper. Yeah, and that goes for Gilmore, too, the old walrus. Bob! Oh. Uh, hold the wire. I said hold the wire. What is it, honey? The old walrus you refer to is yeah. my father. Gilmore, who owns the paper, is your... Parker's my pen name. Oh. Hey, Butler, will you do me a favor? Ask Gilmore if I can marry his daughter, will it? <laughs> <laughs> 
say, listen, you numbskull, this is a newspaper, not a matrimonial bureau. And if you don't give me that story, I'll...